All right, I think this might just be the last segment. It feels like I've got control of the map here, and I don't have really much more to explore. So that's good news. And let's see here, there was some guy running loose over here, that's right. But I don't need to worry about that because I got this guy that'll get him. Um, oh yeah, okay, so I was gonna go... I probably don't need to pick up all these power-ups over here. But, um... Actually, there might be something over here. I need to go to go check that out. So, let's see here. This lady... Oh, there's the... Oh, it's a blue tent master thing. What else we got? Oh, something over here. Okay. So I'm gonna, gonna hire a guy just so I can send him over there and check that out. In fact, I might hire a couple of guys. Because I also need to see what the heck is going on down here. Looks like there's a road down there. Alright, so let's go ahead and go to Terminus. We already got that. Let's go ahead and go up here. Okay, we don't need anything else there. He's trying to run. That's cute. Oh, that's easy. Okay, we got one of these. But I'm pretty sure we got this. does. Eh, not enough really to justify it. I think what we're going to do is we're going to do this. Oh, that's right. I, I have that uh, that range there, don't I? Oh, that's cool. <laughs> that's a neat, neat artifact. Kill two with one shot. Yeah, why not? Well, I see ya. I see ya. Excellent. Oh no, I think I'll do it for the experience. Dragon Utopia. I don't really need it, but what the heck. Okay, I'm going to take that guy in there in a minute. Hmm. Okay, I just got that border guard there. And this, I'll just have her scout, I guess. Okay, we don't need anything here. Okay. We need that. I'm going to build some resource silos here.
undefended <laughs> and that's why the computer's easy <laughs> poor timing very poor timing okay well let's see if I can um, just kind of scout a little bit here I would expect to see somebody oh I do see somebody Charna, but she doesn't have much. Okay, well, in that case, we'll go get her. Oh, these are them. what I get for going over here and bringing like uh, 25 ghost dragons what a what a hassle man now yeah, it's a hassle Okay, well, at least, well, I don't know, maybe, even, I think there's a chance I can get the Sandals of Saint right here, actually. where resurrection comes in handy and why I wouldn't recommend you upgrade green dra dragons if you have resurrection. Neat. Nope, didn't get it. Okay, so... Uh, well, at some point we might do that. Oh, I love this. See, I normally might be worried about losing a green dragon here, but not right now because um, I got resurrection, so it doesn't really matter. And I can't chain lightning him. Um, let's see here. Just more of the same. It looks like I'll have to cast resurrection once. That's a red. I got plenty of spell points. And the Orb of Fire, which is really neat uh, in a lot of cases. <clears throat> Even if you just use it with Magic Hero, it's pretty neat. Curious is how much my magic hero does. 420, that's pretty good. I don't have fireball, do I? Oh yeah, I do. Yeah, for whatever whatever reason, if you want to do fireball, although meteor shower is a much better choice though. Firewall can be interesting though with that. 
<clears throat> okay, so... Yeah, so we can't do that. Can't do that. And this lady, where is she going? Is she going over here? Okay. Okay, so... There must be another city over here or something. I'm getting that fog again. I'm not sure, but I think if, maybe if you sacrifice dragons, I think uh, in the um, the uh, skeleton transformer, I think you do get dragons. I'm not 100% sure, but I think um, I think you, if you sacrifice green dragons or any other type of dragon in there, you, you get uh, um, you get skeletal dragons. I think I seem to remember that. I don't know. Maybe I'm wrong. Oh, that's bull crap. Okay, well, let's see here. Let's see what he's got. Hmm. <laughs> I'm gonna get it. Does it? I don't think that works on undead. Probably the best thing to do is to just cast bless. Oh, you jerk! How did he move faster than I did? gets rid of that guy. I guess that guy was just hiding out there. Like he's like down here or something. Seemed to come out of nowhere. Let's see. Let's see what we can find with Alagar here. Okay, no. Alright, there's there's that lady. Looks like it's probably a dead end over here. <clears throat> I know she's going to come over here, so I'm just going to head her off. I forgot to put my hat on. Alright, so... So, so, so. There's no quick way to do this in that case. Uh, we just have to get a bunch of dragons. <clears throat> Okay, so I'm going to use her to go over this way. So I'm going to go go to Agony. No, nope, we can't go that way. Okay, I remember those guys. Let's go down here. Let's just defeat the enemy first and then we'll worry about uh, actually beating the map. Well, 
Well, this wasn't hard. It was just that second map that was really tough. Just for fun. Ooh, we got a lot of nice stuff there, man. I can't resist. I gotta get it. Well, that's it. <clears throat> okay. That's it. Just a dead end. Okay. Well, in that case, maybe there's something over here. So let's go. Let's go to Sanctum. I never did explore this place. There might be something over here. Okay, just some gold. No big deal. Archdevil's guarding that. And let's go kick that guy's ass. That won't help you. Bless is actually a pretty nice spell at expert level. goes orange. Okay, that's the last guy, pretty sure. We only need to we only need to get the uh, upgraded Dragon Vault in one city. We don't need more than that. Oh, that's the wrong spot. I'm pretty sure that was it. I don't really need to do anything else. I have the boots. Um, I just need the dragons. So let's go ahead and go... Go right here, Grave Raven. I'm going to test my theory of being able to... Um, uh, turn these guys into skeletal dragons here. I didn't have a skeleton transformer. All right, well, let's try that. Yeah! Haha, <laughs> I thought so. Oh, God! <laughs> God. <laughs> Oops. Um, all right, yeah, I thought so. I thought so. Okay, let's see. So let's see how many of these guys I can get. I need, what, 25? I think 25, right? Okay, I'm at Grave Raven. Let's go to another one. Let's go to Sanctum. Got five in there, baby. Yeah, 14 already. Uh, Sanctum. And Agony. So I got 18. And I might be able to pull off more if I can go over here, grab a bunch of green dragons. At, um... Where is it? Rainhaven. Let's go to Rainhaven. Okay, because I don't really need to do anything else. I think I got him. I think I got him. Then we go to 
strong one. Yeah, buddy. We got him. Perfect. Oh, you know what? I'm going to need... Uh, probably need one more dragon or something. That way I'm not left with zero troops. That's alright. Let's see here. Let's go to... What was it? Yeah, this one. This is uh, Agony. Perfect. Now we go back to Stronglin, I guess. Pull this crap off here. The first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to go pick up a, a green dragon here because. I think she's going to take these ghost dragons from me. Yeah. So I don't want to be left with zero troops here. Okay, so that means we go back to... Wait a minute. Oh. Okay. Yeah. Alright, so let's get back to Terminus. Well, this was an interesting set of maps here, and uh, one of them at least gave me a run for my money a little bit. I wouldn't say I almost got crushed, but it was, um, it was actually tough, a little bit frustrating too. Okay, I don't know if they're going to like spring a trap on me or anything, so... Ah! <laughs> I knew it! I knew it! Oh! I knew that crap was gonna happen. Okay, so. <laughs> How lame. Alright, so I'm gonna go back to. I'm gonna go back to. Uh, yeah, let's go to Terminus. What the heck? get some more troops in, in that case. I'm just gonna wait. Well, wow, that's a lot of guys. Okay, so Terminus, Agony. Wait a minute, let's go Grave Raven first. I'm gonna have to come back to Ag Agony to upgrade my guys. Sanctum. Okay, now let's go to Grave. No, Agony. Okay, this should be enough. We get this first strike and all that good stuff. Wait, you know, I didn't check to see if I could cast spells in there. I wonder if they'd do that kind of crap to me. They probably would. <laughs> so just in case... Let's pick up this guy's troops. Probably use some of this stuff too. Right. I'm okay with that. 
Let's take this off. We don't need that right now. Oh, yeah. Let's get the rest of these guys here. Okay, even if I can't cast spells, that'll win me the, the battle. So we gotta go back to Terminus. something to do with something, but I don't really care. Uh, yeah, I think this is Cursed Ground, isn't it? No, well, it lets me cast. Oh, no, no big deal. No big deal at all. <laughs> Let's see here. I could implosion those guys. Go ahead and do that. Oh, come on. guys out. I hate these guys and their multi-hex attack. Again? How much... I don't understand why I have so much um, negative morale there. guy from moving around. Well, so, um, like I said, the whole last part of the campaign, um, the campaign maps is you take all these characters you've made while going through all the different campaigns and I think you just fight them off against each other. To me, that's kind of a stupid idea, but... I don't know why they did that in Heroes 4 too. Another reason why I didn't like the Heroes 4 campaign. It's like, come on. Um, from what I remember when I played through the Heroes 2 campaign, you know, it was a lot more interesting. You know, you could take the path of, um, I think it was Archibald and uh, and Roland, and you got the last map and you got to play, you know, uh, Archibald or Roland. It's a lot more fun, and I'm not sure if the um, if the fact that you you um, get to keep your hero from map to map, I'm not sure if that's really much of an improvement. Because you know, once you get your hero with certain spells, like I got here, you know, I got chain lightning and destroy undead and all that stuff. Once you get that, you know, it's pretty easy. Like, after the second map, it was just pretty much a cakewalk. In Heroes 2, you didn't, you didn't get that. You got certain options that you might, uh, you might get to keep, like, um, 
Uh, you might have access to a certain artifact or something depending on how, how you went through the campaign. But it's not like you, you know, you got a super powerful hero that you got to keep all the time. Even with the, the level limit, it's still pretty easy. Alright, and this is it. This should be the last one. Well, maybe not. One more, one more turn. There we go. Cakewalk. And I gotta do what with it? Starting town. Okay, so that would be... That would be this one? No, that would be this one. Stronglin. There it is! Yay! Sandro has tricked me. But well, well, pass. duh. Why would he run off with the dead man's boots without paying me? Did he keep the money for himself? Did he give Etheric the other artifacts? He certainly couldn't have been an agent for Deja. The undead troops I destroyed to get the artifacts were worth more than the artifacts themselves. None of this makes sense. I will have to write to Etheric in Bracata and tell Lord Fayette about this immediately. Wow. Okay. So there's my ranking, Archangel. I could have done things faster, probably, had I known the maps. So I'm not sure what my ranking could have been. I think um, I think Archangel's pretty good, actually. And there we are. Okay, so that's a campaign. Um, pretty long. Uh, challenging at least in the middle but uh, after that not really that much at all probably easier than a regular map after that you know second map so um, I'm not sure what I'll do next but stay tuned